couple months ago, I started a video series on how to stipple. And uh, it was at the beginning of the pandemic, and so I figured people had a lot of time on their hands indoors, not doing anything. So I had some people asking me about how I do these pictures, uh, all with dots, and so I decided to make a series of videos on how I go about doing that. So I started with this awesome photograph of a rhinoceros, and I did a tracing of it, and then I did a basic uh, stipple art technique for that uh, outline of the rhinoceros. And that took me somewhere in the neighborhood of probably about five or six hours. Now, my most detailed pictures, uh, the ones of uh, presidents or the ones of famous uh, actors, usually take about 15 uh, to 20 hours to be able to do. So a rhinoceros is a nice place to start. So uh, to that end, what I did is I did a, a second part to that. And I know a lot of people are waiting for that. I did film the second part of that and then I subsequently lost that footage. Uh, Luckily, I did find that footage again, so I thought I would post that here and just let you see how I would go about um, adding the details that a rhinoceros would take to make it look more realistic and uh, thus end up with a picture like this. This is the final rhinoceros. Uh, so the video is going to show you kind of go how I go about making that. I tried to remember where the light source was and for this particular photo, uh, the light source was pretty top down and so you'd want to keep the underside of the rhinoceros much darker. As a matter of fact, it could use a lot more darkening. Another thing that's really important to note with this is that I used different pens. So for the first one I used a Micron 01, which is about uh, a quarter of a millimeter. Uh, for this one I added a Micron 005, which is actually two tenths of a millimeter. Uh, it gets a lot more fine points there and allows you to have much nicer textures in between. And then I also used a 05, which is almost half a millimeter, which is much thicker. That allows you to achieve the darker portions much more easily. Can't wait to see what you guys have created and uh, share them with me in the comments below. Uh, happy stippling!